Um, has your prayer changed over the years? It's an interesting question. Yes. Um, okay, I grew up very much kind of free form prayer. I was really grateful when I discovered when I went to the Church of England to discover to discover the prayer book, mm -hmm. right? Liturgy. I didn't really know liturgy. Mm -hmm. um, I came to this you know, wonderful appreciation of praying words that others had prayed mm -hmm. before me mm -hmm. for thousands of years. Um, and I've and across the years, I've I've prayed in different ways. I kind of feel like. I mean, I do think prayer, I think prayer has something to do with personality type. Sure. You know? Yeah. And I also think prayer changes with the place you're, you are in life. So, so there was a long period where, I, where I, I used Compline, where I prayed Compline every night. And, you know, that was when my children were young and, and I was building my project and it was really hard and there was a lot that I was fearful about and kind of cleaving to those prayers and so much of the Psalms are in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of just giving my fear and my anxiety a place to rest, like bringing it before God. Yeah, it makes sense. You would want something that's more formal. If it was you more for are... a container. Yeah, yeah. In a moment when life felt so chaotic. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want something that's more free form when your life feels free form. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I actually wrote a prayer a couple of years ago, which I had never done before. Which I've, which I have prayed every day for a couple of years, and I worked at it. I it started almost like a poem, mm -hmm. and and I worked on it the way I would work on another piece of writing. I wrote it. I you know rewrote sure. it. I prayed it. I changed the words, mm -hmm. and then I finally it settled. And it's about, I mean, it's, I kind of make the moves that a that a good prayer makes. I mean, there's some there's some atonement and and there's praise, praise and gratitude. and and there's. You know, my desire, um, it's about, I kind of realized in midlife um, how much I long to kind of walk through the world with an open heart. Mm. And I think people might see my work and think, oh, that comes naturally to me. But, you know, I'm a person. And <laughs> I have my wounds. <laughs> right. And I think my work is a way that I, um, I think a, my work has been a way that I, tried to do that but I have found it to be really important to be also to like put that into prayer right and to sure. make it as an intention before God every day yeah and I think it's interesting that Karen Armstrong who I love uh, that um, insight my work is my prayer can be very fulfilling because you work prayerfully uh, but sort of taken the wrong way it can kind of exempt you from yes. the one on one time with God yeah. so yeah Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.